にちは皆さんお元気ですか Hello, how are you? Today, grammar video number 46 of JLPT N4. Actually, I was gonna make kanji video, but the first kanji was this. This is kaed to change, but then I changed my mind and I'm gonna make at first this video about kaed. There are four kanjis different. So today we're gonna learn four ways to say kawaru, kaeru, to change, to exchange using different kanjis. So there are slight differences of meaning. In all these four verbs, we pronounce ka. For example, something ga kawaru, something changes, and something o kaeru, I change something. So all these four verbs has got intransitive verb and transitive verb. So at first, I'm gonna conjugate these verbs because all of these four conjugate the same way. At first, with this kawaru, kawarimas, kawatte, kawatta, kawaranai, kawaru. Now the transitive one, kaeru, so a sound, this is group two. Kaemas, kaete, kaeta, kaenai, kaeru. When we use with this kanji, then this is the change of the condition. Jotai. Jotai is condition, circumstances, or the, the state. It means the state condition changes, but this subject doesn't change. Maybe we can understand better using other jukugo. For example, this one, henka. This is change, but this change is only of change of the condition. It means like a transformation. Henka shimas. For example, economy in Africa is changing. It means the African, African economy is transforming. Africa no keizai ga henka shiteimasu. Africa no keizai ga henka shiteimasu. The world is changing, but the world is transforming. Sekai ga henka shiteimasu. Environment is changing. You can think Kawarimas with this kanji is almost the same as Henkashimas to transform. So this means when something changes with this kanji Kawarimas, then it means some, some state, some condition change to another different one. So when we talk about weather, tenki, we use this kanji, kawaru, because weather can be very, very good day with the blue sky, but suddenly it changed to cloudy day, or maybe it can rain. So this kind of change, the condition, this is we use with this kanji. The temperature has changed. Maybe it was hot, but today it is, it is cold. 気温が変わりました。気温が変わりました。My thought has changed. 考えが変わりました。Oh, please don't change your thought. 考えを変えないでください。考えを変えないでください。考えを変えないでね。The rain turned into snow this morning. 今朝、雨。今朝。雨が雪に変わりました。今朝、雨が雪に変わりました。It's difficult to change lifestyle. Way of living. Daily habit. Living habit. Or lifestyle. We say, 生活習慣。生活習慣. Or, as in English, English, you say lifestyle. We say lifestyle. Lifestyle. 生活習慣を生活習慣を変えるのは難しいです。生活習慣を変えるのは難しいです。Don't Don't change your attitude. 態度。態度を変えないでください。態度を変えないでください。態度変えないでね。We use in more occasions 変える変わるwith this kanji. 
now with the second kanji, with this one, and then kawaru and kaeru, to change. But in this case, the meaning is the, to substitute, to take somebody's place, or to replace someone, or to replace something. We can see other words using the same kanji, then maybe we can understand better the meaning. Representative or agent. Dairinin. I change my work. It means I'm not going to transform this work into other things. Just I want to um, wanna take other work. Shigoto wo kaemasu. Shigoto wo kaemasu. Um, shigoto wo kaeru. I want to change my profession or I want to change my occupation. Shokugyo wo kaetai desu. Shokugyo wo kaetai desu. If this book is difficult, then we're gonna change to the, this one. Kono hon ga muzukashi kattara. Kono hon ga muzukashi kattara. Kore ni, kore ni kaemashou. Kono hon ga muzukashi kattara. Kore ni kaemashou. The present changed last month. Sengetsu. I made a cake replacing wheat flour for oatmeal flour. Komugi ko wo oatmeal ko ni kaete komugi ko oatmeal ko ni kaete cake wo tsukurimashita. There's a very useful expression using this kanji kawaru, with this one. Something no kawari ni instead of something. Or someone no kawari ni instead of someone. Today, instead of my wife, I'm going to pick up my child at the nursery. Nursery, nursery school or daycare. Hoikuen. There's other word, kindergarten, yochien, or preschool, yochien. Kyo wa tsuma no kawari ni, kyo wa tsuma no kawari ni, boku, boku ga hoikuen e kodomo mukai ni ikimasu. Kyo wa tsuma no kawari ni, boku ga hoikuen e kodomo mukai ni ikimasu. There's other expression, and this is the synonym instead of something or someone. For example, anata no kawari ni instead of you. Or anata ni kawatte instead of you. The same meaning. Only the difference here, you must use no, and here ni. Do you want me to do the night shift for you tomorrow? Night shift, night duty. Ya kin, ya, the night. Kin, tsutomemasu, like a work. So, night duty, night shift. Yakin, anata ni kawatte, anata ni kawatte, o, anata no kawari ni, anata ni kawatte, ashita, watashi ga yakin o shimashou ka? Anata ni kawatte, by turns, in turns, abnetly, kawaru gawaru. This expression is very useful too, using this that's the same kanji, kawaru. But be careful, at first we pronounce kawaru, but twice together, and the second one with ten ten, gawaru. Kawaru gawaru, kawaru gawaru. To take turns talking. Kawaru gawaru hanashimasu. We sleep by turns. Now your turn to sleep, and, and after, I'm gonna sleep like this. Kawaru gawaru nemasu. We take turns nursing a grandmother. To nurse someone, or to take care of someone who is sick, or to look after someone, but this person must be sick. Kanbyo shimasu. 
other verb, se wa o shimasu o se wa shimasu. This means to take care of someone or to, to take care of something. The difference between se wa o shimasu, kanbyo shimasu, kanbyo, here, byo, this kind of byo, sickness, to watch over sickness. So, kanbyo shimasu, this is to take care of someone who is sick, always someone sick. But se wa o shimasu, you can take care of anything or anyone. It doesn't matter if this person is sick or no. Se wa o shimasu. So this is to take care of in general. Kanbi o shimasu. To take care of someone who is sick. Watashi tachi wa kawaru gawaru obachan wo kanbi o shimasu. Watashi tachi wa kawaru gawaru obachan wo kanbi o shimasu. These two kawaru with this kanji and this kanji, we use them quite often. Now, the third one and the fourth one, and these two are quite complicated. I myself sometimes I think, oh, I don't know which. Now, this kawaru kairu with this kanji, in this case, it's not to change the state. No, no. It, mm, something I have is very old, so I want to change to something new. Like this. So the, the I change or I replace something to, to something completely, completely different but new. This is with this kanji, kawaru. In many occasions, we used with two verbs together. For example, ire kaeru. Ire mas to put in. Ire kaeru o ire kawaru. Maybe the windows are closed. For a long time. So maybe I think it's better to open the window and let's change the air. The air, the, the air is the same, but the renewal one, the fresh air. Mado o akete kuki o irekaemashou. Mado akete kuki o irekaemashou. Do you know this anime movie, Kimi no Nawa? Your name. In this anime, the body is switched. The body changed. Karada ga ire kawarimashita. That movie was a body swapping movie. So maybe you understand now this kawarimas means to change into something different. As the light bulb burned out, so I changed it to a new one. The light bulb burns out. Denkyu ga kiremas. So, oh, the light bulb burned out. Denkyu ga kiremashita. Denkyu ga kiremashita kara. Denkyu ga kiremashita kara. Atarashi no ni o atarashi denkyu ni kaemashita. Denkyu ga kiremashita kara. Atarashi no ni kaemashita o atarashi denkyu ni kaemashita. The battery is dead, so I must change to new one. Denchi ga キレてしまいました。電池が切れてしまいましたから新しいのにお新しい電池に変えなければなりません。電池が切れてしまいましたから新しいのに変えなければなりません。電池が切れちゃったから新しいのに変えなきゃ。So I think you understand this one. 変わる変える with this kanji, you change to something new, the new one. And this one, the last one, kawaru kaeru, with this kanji, this means to change something, but the same, the, very important, same value. The value must be the same. For example, I've got a very, very old telephone, a very old mm, mobile telephone, and I want to change to the new one. And the value is not the same. The, the new one is more expensive. And in this case, kawaru, kaemas. But this one, kaemas, you must change to the same value. This is the difference. Let's see this word using the same kanji. Koukan o koukan shimas. This verb means to exchange, to trade, or to swap. Before I told you, denchi o kaemas, I change batteries with this kanji. But this is a confusion, and I myself get confused. So it was quite difficult to make this, uh, this video because we can say, 電池を交換します. 
I change batteries. And here, this is a different kanji, but still the both are correct. Anyway, when we use kōkan shimasu or kawaru kairu with this kanji, when we exchange things, but the value is about the same. In other words, or to say it with another words, ikaeru, ikaimasu, and here we use two verbs, imasu, to say, kaimasu, to change. In this case, I use different words to explain something, but the meaning, the value, is the same, but I change it. So this is ikaeru. In other words, difficult words, hmm, I'm gonna change them into easy ones. It means I'm gonna explain it in, in easier words. Muzukashi kotoba. Muzukashi kotoba wa kantan na kotoba ni ikaimasu. Muzukashi kotoba wa kantan na kotoba ni ikaimasu. We can also use this verb. Tori kaimasu. Here there are two verbs. Torimasu to take and kaimasu. This means to uh, exchange, to swap. This is again a confusing point because tori kaimasu, we can use both kanjis. Tori kaimasu with this one and tori kaimasu with this one too. And I myself get confused in many occasions. So I think in this case it's better to write in hiragana tori kaimasu because in this case, the first one, it means to change to something new. So this old one, I'll change it. Oh, I'll stop this one and I'm going to use this new one. So in this kanji, this means to something new. But when we use this kanji, tori kaemas, to exchange something, but the same value. So when the friends... In, ex in exchange presents, then presento tori kaemasu with this kanji about the same value. You can also use when we change the places. This place and that place. Mm, I'm gonna change to that place. So this is also with this kanji tori kaemasu. Or maybe we are playing um, playing cards. Oh, and uh, I wanna change this card to this one. So tori kaemasu with this one because about the same value. And the other big problem is about when we want to change money, okane. In many books, there are two ways, okane o kaeru, I exchange monies, and also with this one, okane o kaeru, and this one too. So, which is correct? There's this word, money exchange, ryōgae, ryōgae. It means maybe I want to change my Japanese yen to European euro or dollars, this is ryōgae, money exchange. And please notice that we use this kanji of kaeru, this one. This is why one of the books says that when we exchange money, we must use with this kanji, okane o kaeru. It's because ryōgae, this word, we use with this kanji. But also many other books says okane o kaeru with this kanji. And I understand this too, because this kairu is the same value. If you change money, you exchange money, this value and the, the other value, for example, Japanese yen and European euro, I exchange the same amount of value, right? So maybe in this case, we can change to kairu. But the other book says kairu, this is the correct one. But I'm not really sure. So if I ask you in my test about the money to exchange, then I, you can use either kairu or kairu, both one. Well, both one are okay, because I'm not really sure about it. Before quits, very brief review about these four kanjis. Kawaru, it means to change conditions or to change the state. And this one, kawaru and kaeru, in this case, to to take somebody's place or to like a, to substitute this one. And kawaru, this means to change to something new. And this one, kaeru, kawaru, but to change, but 
that the value must be the same. Now a quiz time with five translations into Japanese using one of these kanjis, kawaru, kaeru, this one, okay? But me, I want to change this jewel to money. Jewels. Hoseki, hoseki. This kanji, ho, this is takara, treasure. And the second one, ishi, stone. So treasure, stone. So hoseki, jewels. Now let's think. In this case, I want to change this jewel to money. But the same value. This jewel has got some value. And the money, I want the same value. The value doesn't change. When the temperature changes, I catch a cold so easily. Temperature, the, the temperature of the air, kiyon. In this case, to change. But this is not the change to the same value or to substitute someone, right? In this case, the change of the state. Samame, it's impossible to change the schedule of next week. Schedule, yotei. In this case, to change, but to change the condition, to change the circumstances, or to change the state. Yamame, before going to a trip, I'm going to prepare changing or exchanging money, Japanese yen, to this morning, I had some tea instead of coffee. Coffee, kohi, kohi, and the black tea, kocha, kocha. I hope you liked this video, and I want you to know very, very well about the difference between this kawaru and this kawaru, because these two we use quite often. And the third one and the fourth one, they were quite difficult. And sometimes I myself get confused and I prefer using kawaru with hiragana. But um, I hope you could understand the concept. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give me a like. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do it so that you can learn Japanese with me. And also, if you can share my videos with your friends, that will be a great help for me. いかがでしたか? 今日は4つの漢字を使った変える、変わるを勉強しました。この一番初めの変わるとこの変わるは結構大切ですよね。ちゃんと使い分けがちゃんと分かってほしいです。3番目と4番目に説明したこの漢字の変わるとこの漢字